Hi friends! Today's video is going to be a plan with me for my writing planner. Look guys, I'm here! It's a different style of video. Please forgive me for whatever weird things may occur during this video. It is a brand new plan with me. I've not done one of these before. Normally I just kind of go through and show you guys what I'm doing, but today I'm actually going to walk you through the process of how I plan my week for my writing planner. It also contains a lot of like my YouTube goals, my reading goals, and what I'm doing for writing. So it's kind of like a social media, writing, reading, planner thing. If you missed my most recent planner video, that was my reading tracker and journal. In here I don't do a lot of what I'm doing reading wise, especially because this week is a readathon week. There will be some things in there, the books I'm planning to read, things like that. So let's get started. I wish y'all could see this filming setup. It's hilarious. So this is my planner. It actually has two sections in it. I've walked y'all through this before. Uh, I will link those videos in the description box below so that you can check those out if you would like to do so. Ah, it's dark over here. This is the week that we will be planning. It is February 10th through the 16th. This planner is the Homebody it is a dashboard planner, a dashboard layout, which basically means your days of the week are on this side and this side is what they call a dashboard or a place for you to keep different things. Uh, some of these I just use as decoration and some of them I actually use for their intended purpose. This top part says dinner plans. We're going to change that. That's going to be my YouTube schedule. Days of the week I will put in if there is live writing sprint or a live from a YouTuber that I want to make sure that I catch or one that I'm hosting. I like to put those on the full day of the week. I took the most recent HB90 planner course with Sarah Cannon and so I use this to buy section as basically my Kanban board but in my planner so the things that are in my currently spot on my Kanban board end up here in my planner that way wherever I'm at I have that in front of me. My errands I typically change into a two film if there is something important I will put it in here but typically these two boxes are just pretty. I decorate them because I like to decorate a lot. Moving forward I'm going to get started. I'm going to be using the Homebody sticker book today. Uh, probably most of what I use will either be coming out of here or the Colorful Boxes sticker book. I use that sometimes as well for headers. I may talk through some of this and I may fast forward through some of it. I don't, again, don't know because this is the first one I've ever done. So if you have any thoughts, comments, questions, or concerns, please feel free to address those in the comments section below. And yes, in the future, I'm going to try to find a way to do better lighting, but this is what we have for now. Let's, let's do this. take these out because I always do and then today for some reason no just leave them in there Jessica it'll be fine this is not how I work got myself all thrown off and wonky I have talked about these icon stickers before as well um, I'll be using a camera and some glasses from Jubilo and they have a store on Etsy or at least they did when I bought these a bunch of people jump ship from Etsy so I don't know if they still have a store and then I also will be using these tiny YouTube icons and these are from the Green Tea Design Company and they also had an Etsy channel. If they still exist, I will link these in the description box below. nice and crooked just the way I like it. Okay I think that's it for now on this side other than decoration but I'll wait till the other side's done before we do that. All right time for some sticker surgery because I want some of these pretty flowers. 
which they have in the book. But in the book, they have a clear background and I don't want to be able to see through them. So I need something with a white background, which means I have to perform sticker surgery, which is fine. I'm pretty used to that at this point in the game. And those don't look like something that I'll ever use, so I might as well cut them up and use what I will. Something like that. And then stick the blue one out on this side because it's stuck to the light colored one out on the other side. Cha-da. And then cha-da again. That is way crooked. And you know you love it. Ugh. And then that guy right there clashes with the color, but it is what it is. So I want to use one of these as a bullet and one of these as a bullet on Monday and Sunday. And I guess we could zoom back out so you could actually see what we're doing here. That'd be nice. All right. I know that there is a live show on Saturday for the contemporary thon so I will put a box over here for that. And I'm fairly certain, fairly certain that Becca and Henna will be doing sprints on Tuesday because they usually do. That's in a time frame that I can make it. And then also, Laura and Kevin typically do theirs on Thursday at a time that I can make it. So I know those are all live sprints that will be happening that I should be able to go to. I think that's it other than making it pretty. But before I make it pretty, I want to fill it out. Now, and most of these people don't fill them out. I don't, uh, they do like a plain like, ta-da, here it is. So there you go. There it is. Ta-da. Um, but also, I'm going to fill this out and then I will come back and we will discuss what actually ended up happening. Everything is wrote in now. I should cover up what I'm filming this week because I don't want to ruin your surprise. I also haven't filled out what I am doing this week, but there will be a video Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. I don't want to spoil the surprise, except while you're watching this, you know that Monday's video is this video, but that's completely outside of the point. So what I do want to go over fairly quickly is what we have going on over here. So as I said before, this section is where I put what I have on my Kanban board for the week and I color coordinate it with the colors of my Kanban board. So the green are what I'm doing in my book. Blue is what I am doing for the YouTube channel and growing that. And then the pink is what I'm doing for the reading. Because this week is a readathon week, I went ahead and just put a vague, it's a contemporary thon and go over here. And so I wrote in all of the different books that I'll be reading for the contemporary thon or the books that are books I can read. They all kind of hit more than one challenge anyway. The likelihood that I'll read all seven books and complete everything else I have going on this week is very slim to none, but they're all there in case I want to do them and then can check them off. Then again, like I said, up here I have my to film area and then here I have my little YouTube schedule and that'll be in there. So the last thing I have to do is to decorate this little spot down here and I figured we would do that together. Dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. Probably can't. Can you read that? The greatest project you will work on is yourself. It's kind of cheesy, but I like it. counteract that we're gonna have. I don't need an inspirational quote. I need coffee because that is way more my style. They actually even have little coffee stickers. And then the best part of this book is it has these really pretty flowers. Which 
I used to not like flowers. I used to not be a floral person. But the past couple of years, I've really been into florals. This whole planner is very florally. And my best friend thinks it's hilarious that I like it because I have never been a floral person. She wants to know if I'm a pod person, if someone has kidnapped me, because this is not me at all. Just for the sake of continuity, I will put some flowers on this side as well. Do, 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 do. Which, I mean, it's Valentine's Day this week. Flowers work. I mean, if you want to know what I'm going to be doing on Valentine's Day, which I need to put on here, actually. Let me find a sticker. For Valentine's Day, I'm going to be driving an hour away from home so I can pick up my mother from the airport. Now, normally I wouldn't put something like this on this planner because it's not like a reading, writing, goal type of thing. But because this week is a readathon week and I'm trying to like schedule my reading time, I'm gonna need to know, like that's super important. Don't forget my mom at the airport, that would be bad. Better to just have it on there so I don't forget. I think that's it. And now we're just gonna stick these back in the planner on these gorgeous metallic blue discs that Kevin at Kevlandia sent me. Kevin is awesome. He accepts my love of happy planner things and sends me beautiful blue discs. They are gorgeous. They do not match this planner hardly at all, but I don't care because they're beautiful and I like them and I don't care if they match because they're awesome. That is my first ever plan with me for my writing, reading. I guess this could be like my HB90 section of my planner, kind of. I don't know what we want to call this, but it's a thing. Again, let me know in the comments below if this is something that you're into. If you have comments, questions, concerns, I need to try to find better lighting for in the future, or maybe just film during the day and not at nine o'clock at night. That would probably help. That is all I have for today. I post reading, writing book, and planner related videos on Mondays, Wednesdays, and bonus videos on the weekends. So if you don't want to miss anything I have going on in the future, make sure you subscribe. And until then, I will see you next time. Bye!